So my name is Chad Whitehead, Town Manager, Town of St. Johnsbury, and uh, I'll be addressing you uh, for the annual town meeting on March uh, 2nd. This is the informational meeting at 7.30 at the St. Johnsbury Town School uh, in the auditorium on Western Avenue. Uh, voting uh, will happen on March uh, 3rd, on Tuesday, March 3rd. Polls open at 10 a.m. and are open until 7 p.m. Uh, for St. Johnsbury Town residents. And so last year, uh, I came up with a slide at the beginning that talked about crime statistics here in the town of St. Johnsbury. And this was based on a study done by the Bowen National Research and Statistics uh, Crime were provided by the FBI. Uh, within that study, it stated uh, that um, crime index for the nation is average crime index is 100. Uh, state of Vermont crime index is quite almost half that at 58. Uh, surrounding area, which would include Caledonia County, uh, is at a 55, so even lower than the statewide average. And then the town of St. Johnsbury has a crime statistic of 49. Uh, so what this is, what this means, and what the takeaway is, is that St. Johnsbury is a safe place to raise your family. And uh, not only that, but St. Johnsbury is also a fun place to raise your family. Um, events that we have here in town, uh, we've got the Maple Festival, Colors of the Kingdom, First Night North Pet Parade, uh, Memorial Day and Veterans Day Parades. There's the Halloween Parade. There's a Summer Race Series uh, that Joe Fox puts on. Uh, Bicycle Safety Fair, the Bike for Life event. And then there's also the Dog Mountain Summer Music events. Uh, these are just a few of the numerous opportunities uh, to get out and enjoy our town uh, and get to know all of our neighbors. Uh, to make all these projects happen, there is a pile of partners. Uh, several organizations working tirelessly uh, with the town, NCIC and NVDA, our economic partners. Um, there's St. Johnsbury Academy, St. Johnsbury Town School. Uh, of course, our hospital, Northeastern Vermont, Northeastern Vermont Regional Hospital. Uh, there's the St. Johnsbury Baseball Organization, as well as Discover St. Johnsbury, our, our local chamber. Um, Catamount Arts is a strong partner in uh, bringing events to the town. St. Johnsbury Athenaeum is always available. Uh, the St. Johnsbury History and Heritage Center, I uh, encourage you to go over and uh, visit Peggy Pearl there. Uh, also, we've got the St. Johnsbury Band who plays music in the, uh, up at the courthouse throughout the summer. Uh, Dog Mountain uh, is also the home of, the, of where the Levitt Amp music series is played, and which will be coming again this summer. And then uh, Fairbanks Museum, uh, which is one of... Uh, a very unique museum that we have here in St. Johnsbury, uh, and also uh, events brought to us by the Northeast Kingdom Chamber of Commerce. So last year I discussed all these projects that were going to happen, and this is uh, the list that we went over this last year, and I'd like to just touch on these briefly. Uh, the new avenue of the Depot Square project is currently under development. Most of these I brought up were things that were coming. Uh, this is in construction right now. The Glover Factory, Sorry, the Glove Factory uh, on Railroad Street is currently in uh, construction. I mentioned last year that we had a distillery coming and that's now open uh, on Main Street and producing rums. Fox Hill Kitchens on Concord Avenue is open. Uh, the expansion of the tap room is complete and the Kingdom Table is now open. Uh, the fourth uh, theater in the Star Theater is open and the Riverfront Path is currently under construction and will be finished this spring or early summer. Whirly Gig Brewing, uh, just heard from Jeff Sawaki recently that they will be opening very soon, uh, but his construction is nearly complete. Uh, the Kitchen Counter Cafe and Al Aldred Dinner Club is currently open too. Um, looking at some, well, I went backwards. Uh, some other pieces to add in, the Central Cafe is now open on Main Street and Salt Bistro. Uh, there's also a consignment shop and the relocation of the frame dames are both operational and then the mat Mattress King store over at the old video location on Railroad Street. So some information about our, uh, about our town departments. The fire department uh, responded to 1,628 incidents including fires, medical assists, hazardous materials. Uh, the department still maintains an average response time of three to four minutes. Uh, and we are still an ISO class four slash four X uh, rating, which means uh, it's a savings on our homeowner's insurance. Uh, this last year, Fire Marshal Andrew Buckley started uh, with the department and he's tasked with the rental housing inspections for the town co-compliance program. And that program has been moving along successfully. Within our police department, we had 326 arrests in 2019. Uh, our officers, Vermont State 
training, our officers meet or exceed Vermont state training requirements. Uh, recently, Officer Shartner and Officer Garish uh, graduated from the academy and uh, represented us very well. Um, both of them finishing at the top of their class at the state police academy. Uh, of note, this last year there was a interagency drug sweep, which included the St. Johnsbury Police Department, U.S. Attorney's Office, the DEA, the FBI, the ATF, the U.S. Marshal's Office, and the Vermont State Police. Uh, St. Johnsbury will continue to work with these agencies to battle the effects of opioids on our communities, similar to what we're seeing across the nation. For those of you that don't know, we do have a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week fire and police coverage, but we also have a 24-7 emergency dispatch center. Our dispatch center handled 11,768 calls for service in 2019, and they provide contracted services for uh, 10 other fire departments, two ambulance services, and five first responder services. Our Department of Public Works maintains 114 miles of roads and 17.5 miles of sidewalks. The water treatment facility produced 307,290,000 gallons of finished water and served those to our public. Uh, on the other end of the system, the wastewater treatment facility treated uh, more than 293,900,000 gallons of wastewater uh, to high quality discharge. Um, the town is always paying attention to legislative changes and environmental changes uh, to make sure that we stay ahead of everything uh, as far as the interest of the town of St. Johnsbury and uh, in the interest of clean water. Of course, all these departments would not be successful without support from the management team, uh, the finance officer, assistant town manager, administration manager, the town clerk, and town, off town treasurer's office, as well as the zoning administrator and the assessor's office work diligently. The proposed budget to be voted on tomorrow includes increases in the zoning office hours due to, to bring them on to a full time in response to increased activity in our downtown. Much of the town's success can be attributed to the level of participation and volunteerism that the residents provide the town of St. Johnsbury. We have active and passionate residents who join boards and committees, attend countless meetings, volunteer at events, cheer on our local teams, and donate resources to help make St. Johnsbury a better place, and we are very thankful for those individuals. If anybody is interested in participating in any or all of uh, these groups, let me know, and I can connect you, connect you with the right person. Once again, we'd like to thank these volunteers and the staff that work on these communities, and a special thank you to the staff and volunteers that continue to make our town look welcoming in both our residents and volunteers. So following this is the municipal uh, budget presentation. Uh, information can be found on the town's website, uh, either by following uh, the documents in the upper tab or by looking down at the announcements over in the lower left-hand corner. So some general budgeting concepts. Our general concepts are to limit growth in the budget from this current year. Um, we maintain healthy equipment reserves and the concepts developed in previous years to develop he healthy active reserve funds. Uh, we also are working to prepare for 2021 and 2022 budgets. It's difficult to maintain a modest budget increase when cost of materials and services continue to grow outside of our control, but our department heads and managers did a good job, as they always do, to develop budgets that provide the level of service our residents have grown to expect at reasonable increases year over year. So throughout our budget development, it initiates by the finance officer updating existing budgets and forwarding along to the managers uh, to look at anticipated changes in personnel levels. Department heads review their initial draft budgets with the manager's staff, and the town manager's office compiles and holds a secondary uh, set of meetings and do a, a review of the budget before we meet with the select board members. So uh, once the town manager's office has compiled the draft budget, it is presented to the public and the board hosts public input sessions to allow for input before finalizing and improving for the ballot. Last year, the budget was initially presented on December 9th at a regular select board meeting. There was a special meeting held on January 6th, but it was just this uh, budget input hearing. 
Uh, the budget was also on the ballot or on the agenda for January 13th before it was finalized and adopted by the select board on January 22nd. Uh, the final adopted is uh, the final budget is adopted by the select board and sent to the voters for town meeting day. Although most people are aware of this, it's important to note that St. Johnsbury voters uh, vote on the budget by Australian ballot. So once the budget is approved by the board, the budget cannot be revised and is simply yes or no answers on the ballot. Finally, uh, in August, after the budget has been approved, the select board has the ability to set the tax rate. So now diving into the numbers. Um, so the town has three basic uh, funds consisting of the general fund, the highway fund, and the special services fund. These are the only ones that are voted on by the residents. Um, the special services fund is only voted on by the residents that live within the village limits. There are two other funds, including the parking meter fund and the recreation fund, which are part of the general fund but accounted for separately. So for this year, the proposed budget has a general fund of $3,855,057. Special Services Fund is $1,367,091, and the Highway Fund is $2,986,386. Parking Meter Fund is $115,004, and the Recreation Fund is $10,000. So for expenses within our general fund specifically, the Town Manager's Office uh, budget is $413,390. Uh, there's a slight increase here due to inc increased costs in uh, insurances. This is reflected through personnel throughout the budget as we saw a 12% increase in our medical insurances in this last year. Town Clerk's Office and Town Treasurer's Office is consistent with previous years at 147134 and 115634 respectively. Board of Civil Authority, $9,953 and the Assessor's Office, 116502 Economic Development, 104748 and this includes tax payments to the industrial park, and it also continues to develop a rental housing incentive program. Zoning and Planning is $74,512, and includes an increase in the zoning office from part-time to full-time in response to increased activity within our downtown. Public safety building is $52,800 and consistent with previous years. Within our general fund, we also have the dog control at $1,000 and the board of selectmen at $6,990. Our dispatch center is $548,161. Uh, this is partially offset by our dispatch billing as we bill, uh, as we spread our costs for dispatch out over the other agencies that we serve. Fire Department is $1,352,860, Solid Waste $30,200, and this is, uh, includes sharing of our Household Hazardous Waste Day with the Town of Burke. Uh, we're currently required to hold four events, uh, two of which are in Burke, two of which are in St. Johnsbury, and the residents from each town are allowed to attend each other's events. Pomerol Building, budget of $184,767. General fund of six hundred ninety-six thousand four hundred and six. Uh, this includes costs for audits, legal expenses. It also includes our, ser our ambulance services, as well as all the special appropriations, which are voted on independently. So, a total general fund expenses of three million eight hundred and fifty-five thousand and fifty-seven dollars. So, the special services fund, which is voted on by just the the users within the village limits is the police department at $1,152,303, which is up less than $20,000 over last year. Parks and Trees at $3,200. This includes uh, grub control and fertilizer within our parks. Um, Beautification Committee at $20,500. There's a reduction in this budget because we've moved labor uh, to do some of the work within our downtown into public works. Special services fund expense of $191,088. For a total special services fund expense of $1,367,091. So the highway fund, uh, highway garage and equipment 
has a budget of 401801. It's increased primarily based on including a second grader rental for mud season and the rental of a bulldozer to do some work out in the sand pit that's required. Summer maintenance budget of $1,004,014. Uh, contracted services include a match for a better back roads grants used for compliance with the new municipal roads general permit requirements made by recent changes in legislation. We have also included $175,000 in paving grant revenues, which will not be expensed unless the grant revenue is secured. Winter maintenance budget of $797,221. The biggest item of this is winter salt. Um, we have also been seeing budget decreases in insurance, and currently we're showing a decrease in our contributions to our 401A contribution plan, which is part of our retirement plans. This can be unpredictable. Uh, however, we'll be getting updates as uh, the, the, we'll be getting updates to these contribution amounts on a monthly basis. Street safety and traffic, a uh, budget of $106,771. This includes street lighting, electric, electricity for street lighting, as well as paint, signs, and sign posts. And the highway fund expenses of $676,579 includes uh, equipment purchases and uh, purchases of existing equipment as well as the purchasing of new equipment as approved on our highway equipment replacement plans. This gives us total highway fund expense of $2,986,386. So also the parking meter fund, $115,004. This follows a 10-year plan which includes new equipment purchases and the reinstallation of parking meters. Expenses in this fund are offset by revenues and plans for building a parking reserve fund. Recreation department funds remain consistent with previous budgets and remains extremely low at $10,000 thanks to the commitments we've seen from St. Johnsbury Academy to run our recreation program. So in summary, uh, the funds that we are picking up uh, um, from property taxes. In the general fund, it'll be $2,519,672. Special appropriations, $305,570. Special services, $1,214,891. And the highway fund is $2,213,636. So of note, um, Reported in our year-end 2019 audit, the Town of St. Johnsbury received over $3.3 million in federal funds to complete work in the water and wastewater infrastructure projects, including the Northern Borders Regional Commission for the Three Rivers Bike Path, as well as for fire and police equipment. We received an additional $241,000 in state-awarded grants to complete road and bridge projects and offset household hazardous waste costs. These are projects which are required and without these grant funds, revenues would need to be gathered through other means, primarily taxes and rates. The town has always been very proactive and successful about pursuing these grant funds, and we will continue to do so. Do so. The professionalism uh, within the manager's office, from the department heads, the treasurer's office, and assistance we have from our engineering consultants uh, plays a large role in keeping us eligible for these grant programs and allows us to offset taxpayer and ratepayer costs. So year over year changes in our total revenue from taxes. So percent increase. Inside the special services district only, we're looking at a 2.69% increase in tax revenue. Outside the special services, it'd be a 1.61% increase on our taxes. So again, uh, information from this budget can be found on the town's website, either located under uh, the documents tab or uh, over on the left-hand side underneath the, um, underneath the announcements. If there are any questions or comments, I do encourage you to email me at cwhitehead at stjvt.com. You can call at 748-3926, I'm at extension two. Stop in in person at 51 Depot Square. Uh, we're up on the third floor or reach out to any of your elected officials. Thank you, and we hope to see you on town meeting day.